Hi friends, welcome to Aerotech Solutions. In previous session, we discussed about electronic domains and what are the skills required for specific areas among different streams, embedded VLSI and automation and DSP system. And now, we are specifically designed for embedded 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 system. And now, whenever you are looking to use or whenever you are trying to work on embedded domain. So, as a fresher, you have to focus on three two important points. One is embedded non-operating system and embedded operating system. Basically, as a fresher, you might aware of only microcontrollers, microprocessors, assembly language, and uh, few projects with microcontrollers. This is the information you may get from academics. But the technology which is uh, working on different categories and different skill set, so you should approach for higher level of skills from embedded domain. So once you are aware of these two differences between embedded non-operating system and embedded operating system, so you are able to understand actually what is embedded system. So many of the students are aware of microcontrollers, 8051, uh, Arduino microcontrollers and PIC microcontrollers or as a name, they may aware of ARM controllers in the books. But the microcontrollers or embedded technology means yes as a fresher you can deal with these fundamental things but if you are grow your career as better as possible so you need to know even embedded operating system so this is the actual technology which is working on high demand in the market so i just want to show you very clear differences between embedded non operating system level engineer and embedded operating system based engineer so once you are, you are taking embedded non-operating system side, you may heard about the low-end microcontrollers like 8051, Arduino, so ARM controllers. So these are the names you may heard from non-operating system side. But any non-operating system means here, you are writing standalone embedded C program and creating .hex file to the microcontroller and running on the board. So this is how you need to understand like the first thing is very clear low end microcontroller based system which means it may be 8 bit or it may be 16 bit so this is these are two categories you need to understand it is a low end microcontroller based system whereas embedded operating system will work on high generation devices like 32 bit and 64 bit okay so in previous session we discussed about the generations of microcontrollers and generations of processors 8 bit 16 bit 32 bit 64 bit and any microcontroller which will work on on-chip memories like RAM memory, ROM memory and based on their memories, you need to write up your program. Suppose if these memories are exceeded for your program, you need to change the microcontroller. If anyone is changing microcontroller, again there are so many clashes with respect to versions, with respect to tools, you need to learn all the things. Like I just started working with PIC microcontroller, PIC16F877A. This memory is not suitable to you if you have to switch to Arduino. Again, if you are switching from microchip IDE to Arduino IDE, the procedure is different and writing program is different and compilation is different, but the approach is same. Anyway, so once you are able to understand one microcontroller clearly, he can work with any microcontroller, there is no issue. But memories, different, memories are different from controller to controller. This point you need to understand. But any microcontroller based embedded system is purely depends on memories, internal memories of microcontrollers. It may be RAM memory or ROM memory. For data storage, few controllers will support even on-chip EEPROM chip, EEPROM memories also. Whereas SOC, this is system on-chip based mic systems, they don't have any memory limitation. You can extend as much as you want because the generations of these advanced devices is very clear, 32 bit, 64 bit like how you are extending your memories from the laptop if you are using 500 gb hard disk within your computer anytime you are trying to change to 1 t 1 tb immediately so this is how it will support larger memories compared to your on chip on microcontroller based memory systems so that soc means system on chip which will support of so many vast libraries vast drivers you need to include with your devices and the third difference is, is very simple to understand 
most of you aware of how to create .hex file with respect to microcontrollers. See, you are not loading .embedded C program into microcontroller directly or .asm language program directly into microcontroller. Any language program you have to convert into .hex finally. So, whereas here you need to create the image of your operating system like Ubuntu image, RTOS image, Raspberry Pi and OS. These are all builds or make files or uh, you can call it as real-time operating system. There are many examples. And the most most popular uh, RTOS is the ECOS and Tiny operating system. So this these are very simple to understand. But operating system build is com different compared to your regular hex file. Hex file is very simple to create with a with a tool you can create it. But RTOS you need to handle so many uh, different C program files. And you have to create one executable, which is as as called as make file from the operating system. And the skills, whatever you are using for non-operating system level, the microprocessors, microcontrollers, C language, embedded C language. So other than this, mostly you, you are not required any other additional knowledge in our non-operating system level. But once you enter into operating system level. So think here very strong knowledge in C data structures and Linux system programming and kernel programming and Linux network programming. So if you are very strong in these areas, then only you can develop your operating system. So otherwise there is no chance to develop operating system level product in the case of embedded OS. And this is a simple view of application with non OS. Generally, whatever the C program you are writing for your microcontroller, this program, for this program you are creating equivalent .hex file and you are running your hardware. See any robot you want to control. So simply write your embedded C program and create .hex file and load it into microcontroller. Your hardware will start work. But here you need to write your programs not a single program you need to write multiple programs in the case of operating system level programming but these programs has to manage so many different sections inside of your kernel which is device management memory management and process management network management file system management these topics are linked up with message queues semaphores so mutex like how we are handling different tasks with the help of your system calls. So these, these libraries or along with your regular programming, it, will, it is going to help your different units from operating system. So once you are able to manage all this, then only you can develop or you can run your hardware with the help of your user programs. See, the difference is very clear. Here we are creating only .hex file in the case of non-operating system level, whereas operating system level, you have to build you have to uh, develop your knowledge on so many different units like device management memory management and network management process management and file system management even there are some other sections which are included here ipc inter process communication so if you activate all this then your hardware starts functioning in the case of operating system so like you, if you see this box, you can easily understood how much of depth of knowledge required for operating system developers, whereas non-operating system developers required what type of skill set you can you can uh, you need to develop. Okay, and there are uh, uh, as a career you need to compare mostly on packages, like what type of salary packages I'll get in the case of non-operating system level, and what type of salary packages you may get in the case of op embedded. OS developers. So this is a very big difference as a career. Once you are staying non-operating system level, your packages are very low compared to operating system developers. Even though your experience keep on increasing, your experience is keep on increasing in the uh, OS level or non-OS level. So you can easily compare this graph. So even you have four years experience, you are not able to reach at least not more than eight lakhs package. In the case of embedded non OS, whereas in the case of embedded OS, your career should be very high. If if you have two plus experience or three plus experience in embedded OS side, your packages will be doubled every year. So that is hundred percent hike will be there for your embedded OS developers. 
whereas embedded non OS your career graph will be very low compared to embedded OS developers. So this this much of differences you can easily understood because the skills the skill set is very strong here in the case of embedded OS and embedded non OS so you have limited skill set skill set. So for further information like you are you are giving training on embedded system and we are from Hyderabad, Kukatpalli and we are located nearby KPHP metro station for all embedded system trainings, projects you can contact us. So we, we are we are giving uh, the complete training on embedded domain including the different areas embedded automotive, embedded software and embedded IoT. So these are the three classifications we have trainings and for more details please contact us. Thanks. Thanks for watching.